Hello, SVG On Demand family. It's your cousin, Sharika, coming to you for a quick tutorial going over how to apply your own images to the Dripping Adidas logo. It is so simple and you can do it yourself. So I just want to show you really quickly how to do it on your own. All right, family. So first thing we're going to do is head over to Google. Oh, well, we're on the on-demand website. Don't forget to check out our SVGU Masterclass subscription group here if you would like to learn with us on a weekly basis. All right, so we're here on Google, and all I typed in was Dripping Adidas logo, and we're going to go over the images. This one's not bad. We're just going to grab this first one here. We're going to right click and copy image, open our silhouette software back up, paste the image. Okay. I'm just going to grab my little dropper tool where you can see better the spotlight where I'm working. Okay. So we right click and paste it and we have the image here. We're going to go over to our right and open the trace panel, select area to trace. We're just going to draw a rectangle around the logo. We're going to hit trace, take the picture here, move it out the way. We can select this here and put a color in it just where you can see it better to give you a visual of what you have here. All right, and we have this here. It took us seconds. We're going to move back over to Google. And we're going to go look for, I don't know, um, frozen. And we're going to go images. We like this one. Copy image. Go right back over here. Paste the image. We're going to just stretch the image to be as large as the design. We're going to take it and send it to the back. And so now the Adidas is sitting on top and we can resize it and make the picture a little bit smaller so that we can try to get as much as possible inside of the shape. Okay, we're gonna grab both pieces, go object, modify crop and look at there. I'm going to go ahead right click and group where it can hold all the pieces together and when it does this I like to put an offset on mine so we can just see it a little bit better. I'm going to bring that a little bit closer to the design nice and close as possible. Now I can select a base color like black if I wanted to, but if I wanted to use my dropper tool here and grab one of the colors inside of the design, I can do that also. I like that. I can add another offset if I want to. And it's up to you how close or how far away you put your offset on it. I like to put a couple when I'm dealing with sublimation because it's all about printing it anyway. And I'm gonna do one more offset so that you'll be able to see the white. Maybe a black. Or I can use my dropper once again and grab a color in the design. I can take it all, right click and group it together. And now I have one piece here. And if I wanted to keep going, I can go over here and find an image with no background. The higher the resolution of the image, the better.
Let's see. I'm just going to right click and copy image, bring it back to my silhouette software, paste in front. And see, we have something that's blocking it, the white background. To get rid of that white background off of an image, all you have to do is trace, select the area to trace, draw your rectangle back around it. Bring your threshold up to the image is nice and yellow, not that yellow. Okay. And we can hit trace and detach. Move this away. And now we have this piece here. I can be able to put this in here. I have our light. I want to add it up here. I want to add some more frozen image down bottom or just the character, whatever I like. But this will work with any image that you do. And check this out. Since you have grouped it together, you ungroup it and grab this original piece here and go back over. and grab a different image, you can change it with just the click of a button. Then to the back, grab both pieces, objects, modify, crop. You're just gonna group them together. And then I will go ahead and change out these color pieces here. And there you go. All right. I hope you enjoy, family. This is just a quick little tutorial for you. If you like, please don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. If this is your first time here. Say hi in the comments. And let us know if you enjoyed. Talk to you later.